someone asked this on another channel, but I'd already uploaded a video that's more pertinent to the channel, and it's a bunch of questions people have asked and I've answered before, but I thought I'd cover this a little bit quickly. Google Quantum Computer's Power Grid Failure Meme and Hacking. This is based on ignoring that it's not connected to the internet. And it also must mean that you're not aware that it using D-Wave hardware means that its upper limit at the time in 2015 when it acquired the equipment it's using is all based on per unit, per machine, it's 25,000 watts. That is not enough to overload a power network that way. And again, it's not connected to the internet that way. Uh, people making up woo peddling bullshit stories will say, oh, it totally caused a power grid failure. In the state of California, they have rolling blackouts. So you can always predict them. Sometime in the next week, we'll have a rolling blackout. They always have them. That's like saying there's going to be an earthquake sometime in the next two years in California. Of course it is, because of San Andreas Fault's there. In Atlanta, Georgia, 2015, in the Rubella Lab at the Georgia location, Atlanta, Georgia, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Building 18, CDC Building 18, Atlanta, Georgia, Rubella Lab had a fire. The sprinkler system extinguished the fire before the firefighters even arrived. A piece of laboratory equipment had malfunctioned. A short out. The first CDC business building closure that they had any record of for the past 25 years. So, yeah, very unusual occurrence. And it made the news. Someone said that this would be very difficult or impossible for me to locate for some reason. Also, in 2010, the CDC building in Atlanta was rigged to, with a subnuclear explosive if it was put into lockdown and they had an outbreak in the season finale for The Walking Dead on AMC. People keep bringing this shit up. If you're not aware of it, the, the, where this meme comes from is much older. It's a movie called Andromeda Strain where the base of the building is designed to have a very small nuclear warhead go off to glassify and boil at sterilizing level temperatures the entire facility if it shows any automated sign of a leak. And you had to disable the detonation by getting to a specific location with a key card, which is a plot device. There are buildings that are called burn rooms that are used for medical testing just as a you know, a, a good idea. The thing is, they have very different ideas of how they work. You don't use a nuclear warhead because that doesn't actually do the job well enough. You overload the room with oxygen, and then you ignite something in the room so it gets really hot, so everything burns in an extremely oxygenated fire, and you have to be able to channel the gases so that they don't spread anything. Unless you know how these systems work, and I'm not describing the full extent of them. You're going to think all sorts of things about uh, this meme. The idea of using a nuclear warhead is based on radiation destroying life. Any form of life, including viruses, can be killed that way. But what you have is a burn chamber, not a burn building or even a room. The chamber is brought down to a lower pressure because that won't spread a disease. Any filters that are in it are kicked into it mechanically, and then the interior is loaded with O2 at a very low pressure and ignited to burn it at high temperature, and then it's blasted with x-rays or radiation, hard radiation. Next, Bob Lazar claiming that at a warehouse in Arizona called S4, there was an element 115 found sometime before 1989. It doesn't matter what his claim is based on. It doesn't matter the long story he gives you. His main claim about this element, it could, it could only happen naturally and could not be synthesized. Specifically, the exact opposite. It can't be naturally occurring, and it's synthetic only, and it's called Muscovium. And it was only synthesized in 2003 and has none of the magical properties he talked about. He made up a story. Or he was repeating something he was told about somebody saying hypothetically it should do X, Y, Z. There is no reason to assume anything about what he said is accurate because it's been found to be wrong. Everything else about it could be dealt with separately. As for a building called S4 or a warehouse or whatever, this is also a meme people bring up every once in a while. But Bob Lazar doesn't carry that much weight or reality points. He also made claims about things that are patently false about other subjects since then. But at the time he existed in our, our pop culture sense, 
he ran one of the websites that had one of the most awesome animated gifts I've ever seen. Would you like to buy some uranium? And the guy's wiggling his eyebrows from the 1950s. It's, it's a wonderful website. Um, but other than that, yeah, um, the story's bullcrap because he got everything wrong, number one. Number two, he claiming that this was absolutely true is what did it. If he just said, I was told this, and it turned out to be wrong, that's fine. But he said that this was an absolute fact, and it was like Red Mercury runs a nuclear power plant in a spaceship from Mars or whatever. None of these statements turned out to be accurate. They were easily checked eventually. Muscovium hadn't been created yet. He might have assumed that it would be far enough along that somebody would not make it in his lifespan, but he was wrong about that. I don't know if he was hedging his bets and doing a joke, but yeah. So Bob Lazar's claim about Element 115 was simply inaccurate and it was independently checked all over the planet. Next, the Atlanta building burning is actually a meme from a movie called Andromeda Strain and... Also, there was an actual fire at a Rubella location, but mostly it's because in 2010 or whatever, the Walking Dead series had that as a meme. This is a trope from movies. It's not reality. And quantum computers are not magical. They require electricity, and more importantly, they don't fucking work that way. And the one that you, anybody, the person brought up at Google runs on 25 k watts and could not drag the system down that hard. And number two, it's not connected to the internet because it does stuff that they don't want broken into. It's not a threat to your systems, and citing blackouts in California is like mentioning that the sun came up today as proof of something. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.